This is CARE 11 News at 4. How to get to the job you really, really want later on with the author of this new book. It's a great guide. We'll be back right after this. Coming up next on Carol of News at 4, shifting into new prospects. Advice on making a career change coming up. A great new guide. If you're like most people, you will change jobs many times during your career. In fact, the Labor Department says workers between 18 and 36 switch jobs an average of 10 times. Our next guest just penned a guide to help people with the big switch. It's called Navigating Through Now What? It's my pleasure to welcome career consultant Karen Kodzik to the show to tell us more about this book. It's a quick, easy read. So what led you to the book now? You know, it was the number of people that would come into my office and say, regardless of what their circumstance was it always ended in now what mm -hmm. now what do I do and ironically they all felt like they were alone and they didn't realize that 20 other people in the week had come in and asked the same question now what so now what and you've been there and done that you've asked now what exactly yourself sure even as a career counselor I'm not immune to career changes and career crossroads um, throughout the years as I've seen in my career you talk about career crossroads let's define that term that comes up a lot in the book yeah, career crossroads is any major career decision that we're facing, whether we're in a job or in between jobs. Mm -hmm. I think that's an important point. This doesn't have to happen when you get the pink slip. It can be you thinking, this isn't right anymore. Exactly. And whether it's something that happened around you in your organization or corporation, or maybe something that happened um, to you in terms of a reorganization or a layoff, or sometimes just the job changes underneath your feet mm -hmm. and it no longer is something that you're interested in doing. So if someone is facing a career crossroads, what is job number one for them? What's the first thing on the list? Number one is not to panic. I think it's natural for people to become very urgent about getting out into the job market, getting their resume done. But really, you know, the best advice is to take a step back and reassess and reevaluate where am I where am I in my life? Where am I in my career? What makes sense at this next juncture? And like you said, an evaluation of not only your skills, but maybe your values. Maybe uh, you got this job before you were married, and now you have a different outlook. So it's not just your job skills. This is really broad. You have to look right. at everything. You know, ironically, values change the most, you know, compared to skills or interests. Our values change as we grow up professionally, as we grow up personally. So it's not a bad idea, really every couple of years, to reassess what's important at this stage. Mm -hmm. And you talked on uh, people getting into panic mode. I think you lose <laughs> clarity if you, if you don't just calm down and maybe write things out, get a perspective before you launch into the next step in this process. Exactly. It's not uncommon that we'll default to what's familiar. And, you know, that's not necessarily what's best moving forward. Mm -hmm. Do you find after people read the book and talk to you that they're willing to take that step out of something they've done, an industry they've been in for their whole career, to take that step out? That's, that sounds scary. It is scary. It is very scary. But often what happens is people become complacent and they realize that they've been unhappy for a really long time. Mm -hmm. And so it does take that courageous step to step forward and say, you know, there is something different and really believe in what's possible. What I like about the book too is if people learn through example, you've got little vignettes along the way of people that have gone through things like Susan who was part of a cutback and stuff like that. Right. Ironically, those vignettes are based on clients that I have seen over the years and the stories that they've come in with and shared with us. And really, the, the good news is for the reader to know that A, they're not alone, and secondly, everyone makes it through that crossroad if, through each of the vignettes in the book. All right. Well, it's a great read. Like I said, a quick read and great information in there. Thanks so great. much. Thanks Appreciate sure. you coming on. And you can find more information at care11.com. Just click on careers and we'll be right back.